If you know who Mr. Cotter is, you need to put that down below right now. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, so I'm showing my age, but I love Mr. Cotter. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just delete everything I just said. So um, today is going to be a really fun video. Um, I have Miss B on from Red Carpet Premiere. This is sort of like a classic uh, wig. I just tried it. Actually, I tried it once. The first time I tried it, I hated it and threw it. And then now I just filmed sort of a show and tell and more thoughts about the wig. Um, so you'll see that coming up soon. Today I wanted to make a video because as I'm reviewing wigs and watching reviews and getting questions from people about wigs, it's, a, you know, I think it's important to discuss what you should be looking for from a wig review or the information that you're gonna wanna have when you're choosing a wig. So I have this like little paper here that I use when I'm doing a wig review to remind me. Um, and I, I don't always include everything, I really try to. But these are the things, if it's a really solid wig review, these are the things that you're gonna want to see in the review. And if they're not in the review, then these are the questions you would ask down below um, from the wig reviewer. So. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is the basic wig information. Where was it purchased from, the brand, the name of the wig. Um, sometimes if it doesn't have a name, it'll have like sort of a stock number or a number. Um, Harlem 125 is notorious for just using numbers and not using names. Um, the color that you're showing, the color that you're actually wearing, uh, if there's additional available colors and the price point. I also put a lot of this information down in the description box, so that is also helpful. The other thing that you're gonna wanna know is the cap construction, okay? So the cap of the wig. You're gonna wanna know what type of cap is it, um, if it's a mesh cap, if it's sort of a breathable weft cap. Um, you're gonna wanna know what the lace situation is. Is it a lace front wig? Is it just a lace parting wig? Or is it a what they call a full cap wig or machine made, which means there's no lace at all. Um, and you're also gonna wanna know what type of combs there are. Like for instance, these ones have two combs set right next to the part, a comb in the back. You're gonna know what the combs are and where they're at. Um, what type of straps they are. Sometimes it's the adjustable straps that are like bra straps, but some of the wigs I've been reviewing from the wig company actually have sort of like a Velcro strap, which is nice. Um, you're gonna wanna know what the cap size is. Most companies do not actually put a cap size, but I pretty much know I have like an average size head, so I can um, determine whether it's way too big for my head, which would be a large cap size, or way too tight on me. Um, I wear a lot of wigs from the wig company who have sizes, and their average size, I think is like 21 to 22 inches. Um, they fit me very nicely. Sometimes I have to pull it a little bit tighter, so that's the basic size of what my head is. And you're gonna wanna know what the comfort is. Like, is it comfortable? Especially if you are someone who has alopecia or someone who's going through some type of treatments or if you have a sensitive scalp. Sometimes if, um, like, the lace is like harder lace, that's the other thing you're gonna wanna know the type of lace. Is it Swiss soft lace? Is it sort of that older hard French lace? That's important for a couple reasons because like I said, it can um, scratch and irritate your scalp. But also like sometimes with the Swiss lace, if there's too much lace front with the Swiss, Swiss lace, you sometimes have to tack it down because it is so soft. And so there are times when I actually prefer harder lace um, because I don't like to tack my wigs down. Um, so those are some of the things. Then you're gonna wanna know stuff about the actual like hair type and the texture. So you're gonna wanna know what the style and the cut is. Um, you're gonna wanna know what the rooting situation is. Is it rooted? What color is the root? That's really important for like blending if you're gonna use baby hairs. Um, you're gonna wanna know what the parting space is. So the parting space would be this one has a lace front, but there's a, a specific lace part. So this one wants to be a middle part. Um, sometimes there'll be a left side apart, right side apart. So the lace is actually sort of cut into the cap. But you can have what's called a free parting, which means it can have an area of lace that you can choose how you want to part it. And that can be like a four by four. It can be a 13 by six, um, six by six. There's different free parting. 
um, but it just that's just the area where like if I wanted it on the side that's great but if you wanted it on this side that's fine so that's also something you're gonna want to know you're gonna want to know what the length of the wig is um, a lot of times a very off very few times have I ever seen a finished length indicated on a wig I know how tall I am and so I um, I judge the wig based on my height and I always include that you know I'm five foot six and a half and this is where it's hitting me you're gonna want to know what type of the hair it is is it synthetic hair is it human hair or is it a human hair blend um, that's gonna be important as well uh, you're gonna want to know the texture of the hair. There's all different types of textures. Sometimes it's hard to describe. Um, some of the textures you're gonna hear is like yakky, kinky straight, relaxed, beached waves, curly, straight. Um, I always try to judge it in terms of textured. If it's gonna be more like um, African American hair and like textured, or is it gonna be less textured, more of a Caucasian type of hair? So I try to let people know what type of texture it is. Um, you're gonna also wanna know what the luster is. Is it a shiny wig? And is it a shiny wig in, in that it looks just like healthy hair? Or is it shiny in that it looks synthetic? So that's really important. You're also gonna wanna know if it's heat safe. Most companies now are putting heat safe on there um, and, they're, and they're including a temperature, but sometimes it just says heat safe. I think main concept is like, a, you know, they get into that where it's just heat safe. Okay, heat, heat safe to what degree? Some degrees, hopefully you don't mount it. Um, you're gonna wanna know it, what the tangling is, if there's any tangling, if there's any shedding, that's something you're gonna wanna know. And then you're gonna wanna know what the density is. Is this a full wig, is it not? Um, and that's important if you want it to look more like your natural hair, you're not gonna come out with burling huge curls with hair this big if you have naturally bone straight hair. So the density is very important. You're gonna wanna see it from the back because sometimes everything looks good from this, from you know, from the front, but I have had turned around where wigs look wiggy in the back or there's like weft showing or something's crazy in the back. And then the last thing I like to include in my reviews is sort of like a pros and cons. How many times I've worn it. Usually that comes in the update or if it's a show and tell, that means I've already worn it. Um, but like things that I like, things that I don't like personally, and then you can judge so a lot of times I don't like a bumped wig. I don't like big wigs that are bumped. So I will say whether or not the thing that I like is just personal preference or not. I think that's really important as well. We all have different preferences. So if I'm gonna say that a wig is not good, it's going to be because of quality, not because of my personal preference. I will include my personal preference, but I will let you know that, yeah, I hate a bumped wig, but quality wise, the luster, the density, the price, all that is good. So if it's something you like, go ahead and scoop it up. Um, and then uh, they should be including whether or not this w wig was in a collaboration, if it was a free wig, if it's a sponsored video, you know, that's going all over YouTube. So that should be something that's included as well. So that is what I include in my reviews. That's what I think you need to know if you're trying to determine a wig. Um, if you can think of anything else that you would want to know go ahead and put that down below because I can add it to my list as well um and yeah what are your thoughts on this video um if you haven't subscribed please do so if you have other car vlog topics please put those down below thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video 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 bye